Wedge-shaped defects describes defects in the hard dental substance at the border where the dental enamel meets the root cement. The enamel cement border of a tooth is the area where the dental enamel transitions into the root cement. Dental enamel is structured similarly to a crystal. The so-called enamel rod crystals, also called enamel prisms, are oriented in a specific geometric pattern. Dental enamel is the hardest substance in the human body. In the enamel cement border area, the geometry of the enamel prisms dissolves, creating weak spots in the enamel at exactly the point where the dental enamel transitions into the root cement. Furthermore, this area, the enamel cement border, is frequently exposed to a leverage effect during chewing movements. For example, if the leverage effect is too high because of a malocclusion, or if the dental enamel is too weak because of an individual anomaly in the enamel prisms, part of the dental enamel may in fact break off, resulting in wedge-shaped defects. If this problem is compounded by an improper brushing technique, toothbrush trauma occurs. If the toothbrush is horizontally scrubbed back and forth across the defect, the bristles are pressed into the wedge and a saw-like tooth pattern created by the toothbrush bristles develops. In this animation, you can see how the toothbrush literally saws into the tooth as a result of the brushing motion. Another cause of wedge-shaped defects can be the improper use of dental floss. If dental floss is laid around the tooth and moved back and forth, then the dental floss cuts into the tooth after a while. Because of this, it's important to learn the correct cleaning technique in order to avoid damaging your teeth while flossing. For all the reasons mentioned previously, all wedge-shaped defects must be sealed with a special cement right away. In addition, if a malocclusion is partly responsible for the defects, the position of the teeth should be corrected with a retainer.